guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be telling you about my experience personal experience as a black person in north cyprus so it might just be relatable because every black person must have experienced one or two things i'm gonna mention in the video but before we dive into the video if this is the first time of you seeing my face or being on the channel my name is cynthia and i make destination videos not cyprus related videos at the moment and lifestyle videos as well so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications whenever i upload a video and if you're returning thank you so much i really appreciate so let's just dive into the video so the first one I'm going to start with is racism. So every black person that have lived in Cyprus, is living in Cyprus or intend to live in Cyprus will experience a form of racism. Now, when people say, is there racism in not Cyprus? Yes, there's racism in not Cyprus. Just like there's racism everywhere else, even in your own country, you experience a form of racism or tribalism or whatever marginalization one way or the other so is there racism in north cyprus yes definitely because some people just like in every other place don't like a certain group of people now in north cyprus i'll just mention some experiences i've had in terms of racism now i've had experiences of going to salons to make my hair and i'm told sorry we don't attend to black people and uh, i understand that one so that they don't spoil the texture of my hair or they can't handle the texture of my hair that's just how i interpreted it and i left so i found another salon that attends to black people and i got my hair done basically i just wanted to wash my hair and stretch my hair that's all another experience i had in racism is when i wanted to go get uh my laser hair bikini bikini section waxed so i went into this uh, laser clinic and they told me that uh they don't attend to black people so when i i got furious and i asked and they said that the machine they have can only identify a white skin that it's gonna wound me as a black person so i got to understand i didn't know that laser machines have for black people and for white people so uh, that was where i got to find out that not all laser machines are for black people and there was a situation whereby i went for laser hair removal and they were not actually they were not actually cleaning the hairs but they were just using the the machine as if it was actually working so it never really worked because the machine wasn't for black people but because they wanted to attend to me they were not actually doing the job so that they don't wound me i don't know if you understand so i went and paid for a job that wasn't done that kind of thing so i got to find out and then i found another clinic that actually has machines that attend to black people and that's where i actually do my laser hair removal right now so other cases you might find is cases of landlords not giving houses specifically asking you what your nationality is before they give you a house and when you mention your nationality some nationalities let me know what it means was nigerians when you say you're a nigerian they say sorry they cannot give you house so I'm, I'm a nigerian and i'm telling you my own personal experience so maybe other other nationalities african nationalities can get a house but most of the times we had to say we were cameroonians or a, another african country to get a house so when the landlord hears that you're nigerian they don't give you a house so most times you're going to experience that as a black person because of your nationality you won't be given a house at a point at one time we're moving to another house our agent had to lie to the landlord that we were not nigerians so that we would get the house so it was quite difficult for us to get a house even this house we're living in there was a form of uh, we are not nigerians uh, they had to give us the house so in some cases you have to lie to the landlord to get a house yeah so when the person will not find out is after you have made the payment or you have brought the huge cash to give to them then they will now try to scan your international passport and they'll find out that you're nigerian and it's already late at that point because probably you've paid them or you've paid into their account or something something like that so there are lots of cases that you'll be denied a lot of things because of your skin color in cases that shops don't want to attend to you because of your skin color uh there are cases that you will not get a job because of your skin color that kind of things so like working in hotels and casinos like permanent staff in hotels and casinos you might not get the job because you're black but are there black people that work there yes 
So you have to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody to get a job sometimes in this places so that answers your question is there racism in north cyprus yes there is but just like there is racism in every other part of the world there's racism in north cyprus so the next thing you're going to find out as a black person is you're going to get some kind of attention from turkish people or people that are not black people so because they are curious and they want to know okay let me just start first of all there is this thing that you're is going to be common that your hair somebody will just come to you and touch your hair for no just cause the person will not even ask for permission the person will not do anything they won't even talk to you just come to you and start touching your hair that one is very 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 rampant so don't freak out don't get an annoyed because the person is just curious sometimes when you're on dreadlocks they're like ah, ah, how is this hair like this you know how how is this attachment like this how is this like this is this your hair you know they just come to you and they just start touching your hair and sometimes it's elderly people and you might just out of the the respect you have for them as elderly people you can't shout on them you can't you know you can't be rude to them so you just allow them to feel your hair and that thing that they are really curious about is what life is like in africa so you know how it has been portrayed that uh, africans don't wear clothes you know that kind of thing that we live with lions and they ask you all those crazy questions do you wear clothes is it here that you bought clothes that you're wearing you know do you even have food to eat back home those kind of questions so because of the way the world at large have portrayed africa so most of them are myopic or have this this mindset that africa is such a a very poor streaking place so the reason we came to north cyprus is because we can't afford the life in our countries now there's a twist to this thing bar now they feel that we have generally that the way africa has been portrayed that we are poor we need pity you know they need to care for us in a certain kind of way because we can't afford a certain kind of lifestyle now the twist about it is they still see you as a cash cow when it comes to you being african or black i'll come to that later i'll explain that later so i don't know i've tried to understand that concept that they see you as you're from a poverty stricken environment and at the end of the day when it comes to doing transaction with them they still see you as the cash cow i'll explain that later so let me move on to their curiosity now sometimes when you enter taxes the throughout the journey maybe you're even in a mood that you don't want to talk to anybody the taxi guy will keep asking you very very flimsy nonsense questions like where are you from uh how are you enjoying north cyprus uh how is life here in north cyprus do you like north cyprus uh will you be going back to your country you know all those kind of questions that you just be tired of it but i just feel that they are curious and there are certain level of attention that you'll be getting that oh you just have to get used to you can be walking on the way and you find a family or someone that just want to take pictures with you because you're black yeah so <laughs> they become celebrities in their community because they took a picture with a black person or because they have affiliation with a black person so it's a big deal when they have a friend that is a black person is a big deal when they are dating a black person is a big deal when there is a form of affiliation they have with a black person so that you have to understand that they're just curious don't be pissed don't be angry just deal with it now another thing you're going to understand as a black person now the next one i'm going to talk about is jobs as a black person you'll not be given a job in the branded stores like you know all those uh, big stores i'll not i'll not mention names so that you know so you'll not get a job in branded stores basically the only job that you're going to get as a black person are menial jobs that has to do with washing plates cleaning a place uh just working in a hotel just a job that involves domestic services to a certain company a certain establishment you're not gonna get a job in an office it's a very 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 difficult job to find i'm not saying that there's no black person working in those places yes there are black people working in those places there are black people having establishments for themselves but and that thing is if you want to set up something for yourself you have to be affiliated with a turkish person for instance you want to start a restaurant you have to go through a turkish person that is a turkish person will be the owner of the business you are just working under the turkish person just for your restaurant to run through you know it's quite difficult to get certified or get licensed 
as a black person to own your own establishment i'm not saying that there, there's nobody that has done it there are people that have gotten uh, licenses to run their own establishment but then there are others lots of others that have establishments as well that have businesses but they are doing this business under a turkish person's license so that is the only way you can comfortably comfortably own a business in north cyprus you have to go through i'm talking i'm talking about black people right now you have to meet a turkish person who will sign as a referee or sign as the owner of the business so whatever goes wrong in that business the turkish person will be held responsible so yeah so in terms of jobs just know that there is no job for you in north cyprus you will not be allowed to work in branded establishments like top-notch places top-notch big names in north cyprus you will not be allowed to work there no it's quite difficult you can't enter a boutique and see a black person that is working there it's quite difficult it's quite difficult i'm not saying there is nobody doing that i'm not saying there are there are no black people working in these places but it's quite difficult to find you know go to a supermarket and you find a black person working there so yeah they're just menial jobs for you as a black person cleaning washing plates you know cleaning the house cleaning offices cleaning just basically something that you just used to go by now another thing in terms of jobs is as a black person wherever it is you're working you're not paid enough for the job you do that is you work more than the the money you're paid that's another thing you're going to find out in terms of jobs you find out that the ladies end up lifting heavy things and you find out that the turkish guys are just sitting around you know smoking drinking coffee and the lady because she really needs this job because she really wants this job because she really needs the money she ends up lifting a lot of things and at the end of the day she has waist pain most times in the jobs you barely even have time to sit down now another thing you have to know as a black person is when you have a job in restaurants in cafes in in eateries if your job is to be done in five hours please do the job in five hours because even if you finish the job in one hour you're still going to be made to do more jobs to complete that five hours so there's no need rushing to finish your job if your job is to be done in five hours take your time do the job in five hours if you're supposed to wash plate in two hours take your time wash the plate in two hours and go home if you finish washing that plate in 30 minutes they're going to find something else for you to do in the remaining hours you can't finish the job in 30 minutes and then they pay you you start going mm -mm. you're paid for the time not for how fast you work so because of what we are used to back home how you don't lazy around when you have a job you have to be fast you know to cover up a lot of things so that you can earn more because back home the more hours you spend the more work you do the more you're paid but here no the more work you do the less you're paid because you're still gonna be paid the same agreed amount even if you work more unlike back home that the more you work the more money you make that i'm talking about menial jobs even when you do overtime you're paid for the overtime so it's not the same here no matter how fast you are no matter how much you rush to work they will appreciate you because you basically don't even have strength for that job so because you're doing more work the business is moving better you're covering more for the number of people that is supposed to work in the establishment that means you might find out that you're even doing the job for two people you're doing a job that's supposed to be done by three people but because of how you're built as an african as a black person you tend to do that job faster they end up not employing the remaining people that is required to do that job so you end up doing that job alone so don't overwork yourself for the amount you're being paid just work the stipulated amount and the stipulated time that you've been given and don't rush your work take your time and do the job so like i said if you want to work in restaurants sometimes you need to know someone that knows someone that knows someone that knows someone especially when you need to work as an extra in hotels because in festive seasons they need more hands in the hotel so there's there are people they call extras they're not permanent workers but they just come in a couple of days or within the time of that festive season to help out in the in the restaurant or in the hotel and they get paid at the end of the day so sometimes to get these jobs you end up you know knowing somebody or an african person that already has upper hand in the hotel or in the restaurant to bring you in now let me share my experience with my friend when we got here we really needed a job money wasn't coming from home and we needed to like be able to stand on our own for a couple of weeks for a couple of months before money will come from home so we decided to look for this hotel that everybody had been talking about so we entered a taxi crazy us we entered a taxi thinking that it was just a distance from here to here we entered a taxi and the taxi took us like this taxi on meter 
when they turn on me they know that the money is going to be loud and we didn't know where jj's is the guy took us to god knows how far and we're like we never reached we've driven for hours and we've never gotten to the place so at a point when we got to the middle of the road we told the guy take us back take us back to our hostel the guy took us back First of all, we spent money. Secondly, we didn't even get to where we were supposed to go to because we were not informed. So at the end of the day, we found a, a lady in our church who had an upper hand in this hotel that we wanted to work in. So she fixed us in as extras and we eventually got an opportunity to work in that hotel. So even if we had gotten to that hotel, there was no way they would have just given us a job because we just came in to look for a job it's not possible you need to go through somebody to get a job in that place now the next experience you're going to have as a black person now this one i don't know about guys but this one is going to be specifically for the ladies you're going to see a lot of inappropriate behaviors from turkish men especially older guys old men that are old enough to be your grandfathers or your fathers you're going to see a lot of inappropriate behaviors now for instance sometimes when we go to school and we we cannot get transportation back home so we we do this auto stop thing you know you stand by the roadside and you know hitch a ride and the ride brings you back home so sometimes you might get into the wrong auto stop where the person will try to molest you and because you're in a moving car you don't know what to do should you jump out of the car should you stay back in the car you know it does only happen in auto stops sometimes you enter taxis and some taxi guys are molesting you saying all manner of crap to you asking you to have time with you you know that they're gonna pay you real good they are not remorseful for behaving like that and when you ask the turkish girls they tell you that that it's just in their nature to sexualize women and when you ask the turkish girl they tell you say that the africans they know how to do it better than their ladies you know they say all manner of crap now a lot of african girls because they want to survive because there is no job because there's no way of of keeping body and soul together they fall for distance and they end up having time with these taxi guys to get money or get free taxi services from time to time so it has happened a lot of times so i'll share my own personal experiences of inappropriate behaviors i've gotten from a lot of turkish men so the first one is my auto stop experience so my school is in a different district from where my house is so i hitched the ride from school because the school bus we were supposed to take back to our district did not come and the school did not even tell us before time so we were stranded and the only option we had was to hitch a ride you know all of us we went to the roadside and if you're lucky to hitch a ride you enter your ride and you you go while the others figure their their own you know their own wahala so i hitched the ride and oh we got driving and the guy started asking where are you from and innocent me i'm from nigeria and then he started you know behaving strangely you know this and that give me this i liked this i liked that started touching me inappropriately and i was like stop it you know i was being i was being nice you know i'm inside someone's car i was being nice so i had to like scream and tell him to stop i want to get down then he now apologized and we drove silently till i got to in fact i didn't even get to where i was supposed to get to as soon as we got into my district i didn't even get to where i was supposed to get a, a taxi i just told him drop me here so as far as i'm sure that i have gotten into the district i can find my way home from here i told him drop me so he dropped me i called a taxi a taxi came there picked me up and took me home so yeah you'll find a lot of these experiences as a lady in north cyprus now the next experience i had was a situation of i was working in a restaurant and this guy supplies drinks to the restaurant so on one of those days he called me i felt it was something really important that they started talking crap he's gonna take me shopping he's going to supply me with endless supply of drinks that uh, he just wants us to be friends let's go out and have coffee let me tell you something when they say let's go and have coffee it's not just coffee from coffee it gets into something else so don't be deceived so i when he said let's go and have coffee i already knew where he was going to i told him thank you so much i declined another experience i had was i worked in a restaurant and the guy liked my friend he now told me he's gonna take me shopping he's gonna pay me all he needed was for me to you know connect my friend to him so that he might he can have his way with my friend so days after days it cost me my job i lost my job because i couldn't connect my friend to him the guy became hostile to me the guy, the guy became very very i don't know he was just acting out 
towards me every small thing i do at the restaurant was a problem so i had to quit the job because it was no longer conducive for me he was a chef and the head chef at that matter so he says what goes in his kitchen so i had to quit the job i told my friend see this guy likes you come now let you know come and meet this guy so that i can keep my job and we laughed about it because we know it's a regular thing that happens in restaurants another experience i had was a situation whereby this guy he comes every morning to pick me up to school i knew where he was going to but then i wanted the ride to school every morning he comes picks me up to school till one day he was he was open to tell me what he really wanted and this one he did not just tell me he was going for a kiss man i jumped out of the car and i was like no sir I'm not is that why you've been taking me to school sorry I'm not interested that the guy flipped like the way these people flip from loving to hostile is just in a split second the guy flipped man I had to take up because from that flip you can enter something else if you know you know hmm you have series of experience and at the end of the day it boils down to molesting you assaulting you sexualizing you in one way or the other as far as you are a black woman you at one point in north cyprus have somebody sexualize you molest you assault you in one way or the other just because you're a black woman and they offer you a whole lot of money sometimes the money they offer you is quite unbelievable because on a normal day even if you're working for that person the person will not pay you that amount of money but they are willing to spend so much just to have their way with you so there are other cases when uh you find out that maybe you're late on your rent and your landlord will come and ask you to have time with him so that he can extend your rent or maybe you no longer pay rent or pay bills just for you to just be having regular time with him those situations and you find that these people are married these people have wives sometimes their wives are aware of this things, but they cannot do anything about it because the women are not giving room to be audible the women don't have a voice so these inappropriate behaviors are not basically just for women but i know that women experience it more than guys but guys also have their own fair share of experiences like for instance your landlord can just join his own house bill with your own and send it to you that means you're paying your own bill and your landlord's bill without your knowledge just because you don't have the the electricity number or water number to go straight to the office to pay it the guy sent you a text message my husband and i have had that experience with one landlord we had one time so what he does is he sends us a text message of our bills every month so we end up paying without even knowing that we are paying our own and paying the landlord's bills at the same time so a lot of people have these experiences that you're paying your bill because your landlord sends you a text message and then you either uh, send the money to him or he comes to collect the money from you to go make the payment then you're paying your bill and you're paying his own bill at the same time there are situations like that now there's another situation of you having a landlord that comes to evict you from your house months or few days or few weeks before your rent is actually due now they eject you like throw your things out or sometimes they even change the door entirely like they, you come in to see a new door the door has a new lock a new door entirely and you can't have access to your house at the end of the day so the, your things are locked until you make payment that is when they're going to open the door for you to take your things so there are situations like that I, these are inappropriate behaviors that should be addressed it's not it's not a nice treatment it's not a good treatment just because i'm black on a normal day a, a turkish person a normal citizen will not experience this kind of treatment now another thing you're going to experience as a black person in north cyprus is being overcharged now back to that cash cow i said i was going to come to now they see us as oh we're from africa we are poor low lives we need pt and all that but then when you it's time for you to do transaction with them you are a cash cow like you're the money bag you know so when normal thing that a citizen is going to buy for so 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 and so price you're going to pay times two of that price now when uh they want to buy cars there is the, the system has put it in such a way that they can pay instrumentally over five years over 10 years over 15 years till they finish paying for a particular commodity or an asset that they have but for you as a black person if you're renting a house you're renting in full payment that is one year payment straight for them if they're renting a house they can pay monthly or they can pay in six months in three months something very favorable for them and even in that payment that they are making the price is so low 
I don't know if you understand. So you as a black person, if you're buying a car, you're paying in full. If you're buying a phone, you're paying in full. Whatever it is you are doing on this island, you are paying in full. There is no instrumental payment for you. So that's why they marvel and they get angry at Africans because they feel that we are dominating the place because everything we own, we pay in full. We don't pay instrumentally. So they feel like we are rich, you know, we are we have it, we have it all together but when when they are treating you badly they remember you're a low life uh, you need pity you know i don't understand how that connects if i'm in low life please let the low lifeness affect every other thing not i'm in low life but when i need to do transaction with you i'm a cash cow you know so you really be overcharged in a lot of things you know now let's go to the rent aspect so you're gonna pay rent because that is a lot of places where extortion is done crazily you know you find out that you f you go to a certain website and they tell you that okay this house is 500 turkish lira for one month now when they find out it's a black person we don't charge one month you have to pay for one year without one year payment you cannot get the house and you're not just paying for the one year payment you're going to pay commission to the agent you're going to pay deposit for the house and this deposit you're not going to collect it at the beginning of the rent they'll tell you yeah, you can get the deposit at the end of your stay in the house all the houses we have ever lived we have never gotten back our deposit even the houses that we never spoiled a thing because the aim of the deposit is in case you spoil something they will use the deposit to fix those stuff so all the houses we have ever lived we never got the deposits back so don't expect if you pay for deposits when you're leaving the house, the man will count the money and give to you. Never. He will find something to show you that you have spot something in the house. He, they never give you back your deposit, which is really, really bad. There are people who don't pay for deposits when they are renting a house. But when a black person or a foreigner is uh, renting a house, you have to pay for deposit. And you never get the deposit back at all. It's really bad. Now, another thing is when you pay this rent that has been overcharged, which you know that the price they are giving you is way more than what the house is worth or they would they would charge a citizen that is renting that same house now when they're about to write the contract for you now see what they do they now beg you please let me reduce the price that you paid the price i'm going to write on the contract let me reduce it so that the tax office will not charge me a lot how is that my business sir you charged me a lot how is that my business what the tax office charges you but at the end of the day you agree as a black person and then they'll reduce the price which is supposed to be the actual price you're meant to pay which is the actual price you're meant to pay for the rent and then they reduce the price and at the end of the day they give you the contract and sometimes they don't eventually go to fix the tax payment when you need to use that document for something official they will, they will still send you the office and will send you to the tax office to pay for that tax charges on that rent and you as the black person will end up paying the tax charges not the landlord so a lot of these things are things you're going to experience as a black person so what can you do about it if you have a problem with it if you're complaining about it it's just simple board a flight and leave that is all that it takes if you have a problem because that's why i tell myself most of the time cynthia if you have a problem with all this treatment you're getting you left your country and came here because of one reason or the other if you have a problem with it just pack your bags and go nobody will notice you left nobody will even care you left so stop complaining because you're in another person's land you're in another person's country you came for a reason so if you can't deal with it just pack your bags and leave that's all it's simple like that you can't change the treatment you're meted out in the country you can't change it sometimes when you get into a taxi you find out that the taxi guy will think that you're not familiar with the routes the guy will take a long route take a long route take a long route just to charge you more you know he tell you you know that he went through and went through and went through something that might just be a distance from here to here the guy will go through corners and corners and corners and corners and at the end of the day he will charge you so much and sometimes you cannot fight it he will shout and shout and shout at the end of the day you will have to pay the money he's charging you so being overcharged is something that is very 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 common in north cyprus especially when it has to do with a black person another thing you have to make sure as a black person is make sure that your documents are complete something that is making you very legal in the country because sometimes it can be randomly stopped by the police to ask for your document and if it's not complete you can they can bundle you from there to the police station and from there they will deport you so you make sure that your documents are complete there are times that they can just hold a random search they will not tell you 
they'll just be that's randomly they'll just start searching people asking for their permit if you're on the roadside they'll just call you and ask you where's your permit what makes you a student what makes you a worker that kind of thing so make sure if you're in north cyprus make sure that your documents are complete now for the ones that are drivers make sure that you have a driver's license because if you don't they can bundle you you have to pay for the the whatever it is that uh, you're defaulting in and then you pay fine at the end of the day so make sure that your documents whether you're a driver or you're just a, a strolling student or a strolling worker make sure that a document that keeps you legally in the country is complete now there's another thing that black people do to themselves you know that you're not you're not registered you know that you don't have a legal permit keeping you on the island you carry yourself to go and make inquiry at the police station a lot of cases have funny cases that have happened for instance there was a case of a guy that got beaten up i don't know by who he went to the police station to report that he was beaten up and this person we're talking about that's going to make report does not have <laughs> does not have a permit so at the end of the day the guy got bundled now they first kept that case of somebody beating him up they kept it aside now so dealing with the case of he does not have a permit on the island they find him they sent they took him to court now after they have settled this case of you not being legal in north cyprus they will not bring up that case say you say who you say beat you again you know that kind of thing there was another case of a guy that didn't have a place to stay he went to the police to complain that he doesn't have a place to stay now the police got to find out that he didn't have permit he was not legally staying on the island and he got arrested and he was charged to court now now you carry yourself go police station they did not find you they did not catch you so if you don't have a permit or you're not legally staying on the island make nothing carry you go police i beg because if you go to the police first thing they will do is search how long you have stayed on the island if you're legally staying on the island if you have a permit on the island before they address what other situation that brings you to the police station you have to find out first if you're legally staying on the island because first of all they will charge you fine for staying illegally charge you to court before they will not bring up any other thing that brought you to the police station so please as a black person do not put yourself in harm's way do not put yourself in danger if you're on the island i've said for a long time find out ways you can get legal permits on the island and don't be the one putting yourself in danger so yeah i just said let me tell you my own experience because i've told you that i did not have it rosy i'm not coming here to paint it all beautiful that that you're gonna come to north cyprus and it's all well and sometimes these agencies in your countries they're lying to you some sometimes some of them have never left the country sometimes some of them have never even been to north cyprus but they tell you that there is job or they tell you that you can move from here to another country or they tell i have been denied visa before and i had a complete document in fact i had a complete document that came direct from the nigerian embassy in the country i was going to but still i was still denied visa you can have the the queen's signature on your on your letter on your passport but still you will still be denied visa so don't listen to what anybody is saying it's a game of chance you can be approved you can be denied one way or the other so please please and please make your inquiries before you come to north cyprus the life is not rosy and if you're already here based on what the agents told you or what your friends told you or the life you're seeing on your friend's instagram and you felt like the person is bowling the person did not just come and start bowling as a matter of fact the person must have gone through a lot of things before they went got to that bowling stage you understand so first of all before you come as a black person make your inquiries make sure you have a benefactor back home that will support your lifestyle in north cyprus don't just pack your bags and come because you're coming to north cyprus there is no job in north cyprus for those that message me that they want to come with their families you can come with your families but still have somebody that is supporting you from back home because there is no job in north cyprus and as a matter of fact children's schools are very very much expensive if you want your children to go to like british schools like english speaking schools you have to pay like five thousand pounds or more please make sure you make your inquiries and have your facts right before you start coming to north cyprus so that you will not come and start saying it's a messed up country is it this country is it that country so many people have lived here for years 
peacefully without any problem yes they went through their ups they went through their downs but as the year progresses you get to get accustomed to these things and adjust to the life that is being given out to you like i always say cyprus is not a permanent residence for anybody cyprus is just a place where you come through you know adjust to a life and then move on to a better place move on to a better life you understand don't expect when you come to north cyprus you work and then you find a job and you stay here forever some people that are even here looking for a way to to leave the place and find better things out there so please please and please get your information right get your facts straight before you come to north cyprus so yeah that's about it i just let me share my experience as a black person because a lot of people will have the same experiences like it's usually the same it's usually the same but in a different in a different form in a different manner in a different environment but at the end of the day it's still the same experience so yeah I just let me share this experience so that you know what you're getting into you know that me myself that is bringing these things to you i don't have it all rosy you understand so i have had my own fair share of here and there but then i have i can identify these things from afar before they even get close to me so get accustomed to it deal with it that is life and move on you understand so yeah let me know what you think in the comment section if you're already not cyprus let me know your thoughts on this let me know your own experience if you've had any of these and don't forget to subscribe leave your comments in the comment section like this video share it with your friends because this helps the channel to grow and travel far please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell button for notifications so till i come your way again with another video peace